everyone. Yes, I'm not streaming it, but if you know what today is, as the recording, it's the 18th. It is Corporate Clash 1.3, the hires and heroes update. And people loved my reaction to the update. Thank you. Thank you so much. And like I've said before in the last video, I'm not going to be streaming this for a while because I am currently revamping. So we're going to have to stick with the recordings. So this will be a highlight cutting down and all that. So yeah. I already updated the game in advance. I'm excited for this update. Um, we are gonna get rid of you because... Well... Sorry, I need to turn down the volume so I can hear myself. We're gonna have one of these slots as our tune. We'll make it purple. So, there's a new tutorial and we're gonna react to that. Is it just me, or do they... Did they revamp the models a little bit? You see what I mean, right? Like, it looks like the corporate clash style that we all know. But it just looks... Okay, this is the mouse I'm familiar with. You guys know what I mean, right? Actually... We're gonna go with my cat. My cat, Simmy. Wait. Oh, there's multiple eyelashes. Huh. Can you, like... Wow. Yeah, that seems like Simmy. Okay, next. Wait. Uh, I believe this was something that could already be done, but... Yeah. Okay. Right. So, let's change to our color. These look like my eye color. But I think these look like Simmies as well. Right. Uh, shirt style. Wait, wait, you could... You could select this now? Um, if you remembered, um, you couldn't make Flippy's outfit. Yes, so... Uh, this is Flippy's outfit. Yeah! What would Simmy wear? What would you wear, Simmy? He's next to me, by the way. You know what? I'll do the soccer ball, because she loves to play with the little, uh, bouncy balls. I kind of like it. All right, next. Okay, so, I looked at the Discord, and it says, like, type in your own name, we'll select random, so, right now. We'll pick something else for now, and then we'll switch it. <gasps> Lulu sounds so cute. Okay, okay. You are Toontown's new citizen. Yes, we want to enter to the Toontorial, because it's new. Submitting your name. So if it if they say like oh colorful cat or whatever, I'll it'll be Simmy because it's my cat. Oh Lord Loud and Clear. Oh look at all this. There's Professor Pete. Hey Professor Pete, here's that tune I was talking about earlier. Mind showing them the ropes? Sure thing, Lord Loud and Clear. Could you set things up in the training room? Oh, look at the chalkboard! Roger, I'll see you shortly, rookie. Hey there, friend. Let's get the simple stuff out of the way. You can move your tune with the movement keys. The default buttons are W, A, S, and D. Okay, let's look around first. All right, now try jumping with the default space bar. Ooh, look at all this. Oh, there's like a little Connect 4 in there, and... Oh! You can see a little piece fell down there. That's a toy doodle! By the way, doodles have been removed. Because of, um... Uh, server lag issues. Anna's Bananas Baking Class. Science rules. Oh, look at that clock. Oh, whoops. Cranes are cool. Relax, remember- Hey, it's the- the girl- the study girl! Inspire. It's like Spongebob. Imagination. Oh, whoa. Make a splash. Um... Hang in there. Don't be afraid to get messy. Oh, look at that! Have a wholesome day. Today's lesson, Zap Gags. Smells like cabbage. Tastes like cornflakes. 
Who is this? Art is fun. Okay. Alright, jump. Looking good. Speaking of, you can rotate your camera by holding the right click. You can even combine it with movement. Yes. I already know that. To really get moving, try sprinting. The default button is for shift. Oh, homework. M mess her around as much as you want, then come up to me when you're ready to continue. Oh, look at that anvil. Oh, look at all these pencils. So this is what the music sounds- oh. Why is it not detecting it? Oh! There you go. I'm sorry that you guys didn't hear the music. Oh, the carpet is a little- okay. Great job! Welcome to Toontown! A place full of laughter and fun. Well, that's the idea at least. Loudon will be able to explain our situation better than I can than I can. Though. Speaking of, he should be ready for you by now. Go ahead and check out the training room. Alright! There's a button here. Ooh. It's like the sad hallway. Welcome to the training room, rookie. Let's get you prepared. First things first, you need a laugh meter. Now, where is it? Ah, there it is. The laugh meter si signifies how happy you are at any point in time. Uh, if, you're, if your laugh hits zero, oh, you'll become sad and will be sent back to the nearest playground. Luckily, when in the playground, you can find treasures. These will heal you back up quickly. Why would your laugh hit zero, you may ask? Well, you see, currently we are under an invasion. An invasion conducted by robots. We call them cogs. These no fun robots can't take a joke. Thankfully, jokes are, are our specialty. Gags are used to battle the cogs around town, and I'm going to teach you how to use them. Let's get started. Approach that cog dummy over there. Oh, there it is. Dust jockey. It's a level nine. Oh, bow tie. Get that dust jockey. How? I, I I don't have anything. Can you like? Oh, these are like low quality. Um. Can we touch that? Oh. Okay. Ready to train? First things first. The battles interface. At the bottom, each tune has a panel that includes their laugh meter and what they're planning to do. Oh! Wait, we have all... all gags, okay. And Lord Loud and Clear is 163 laughing. Oh, look at all that! Uh, Zap has some new gags, it looks like. Cogs also have their own panels located at the top. This shows their health and level. So, level 9, 110. But most importantly, we have your inventory of gags smack dab in the middle. Each row represents a gag truck. I'll be walking you through the uses of each one. Something to remember is that gags are used in track order from top to bottom. Now, let's get to using some. Here's a squirt gag for you to use on that desktop. Click on it to attack. Okay, so, yep. Okay, so it does the standard soak stuff. Okay, great shot. As you might have noticed, it took some damage shown by the number that popped up. Also, they became soaked. Soaked is something we call a status effect, which you can see is slotted onto that COGS panel. Yep, so it's uh, minus 10% dodge chance and our vulnerable to Zach gags. Remove this if a COG is hit. Yep. Hovering over a status effect will give you a brief description of what it does. It's good to always be aware of the situation. One of the benefits of Soaked is likely that the cog is less likely to dodge our gags. This is a great time to use Drop. It is a very powerful type of gag, but has low accuracy. Oh, it says like target one cog if you didn't see. 
Yep, there it goes. I'm calling in backup. The dust jockey summons more dummies. Lights on initiative. Oh. Nice. We both hit. Hit it. Because of that, we dealt bonus combo damage. Fort throw and drop gag steal combo damage when used with other gags at their track. However, they used an ability that summoned another cog. Fortunately, we have ways of dealing with multiple cogs at once. Zap gags can only affect soak cogs, but their electricity can jump to the other soaked cogs. How about you start, uh, use zap while I use squirt to soak both of them? Does he have procedure or something? It doesn't say that, but looks like it. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I'll hit the left because it'll be easier. I wonder what would happen if you hit the right. Okay, so I kill the left. Ooh, look at that animation! You saw a little lightning bolt there. Ooh, the animation, that's cool. What type of- so it's, I know it's like a- but like, what type of cog would it be? Good teamwork. We even managed to destroy one of them. However, oh, I mean, hopefully Pete won't be mad about that. Notice how the cog isn't soaked anymore. Zap dries off all the zo uh, all the cogs it hits. Also, when I soaked the cog next to the one I targeted, it was dealt a little bit of splash in. Oh. Anyways, let's move on. Go ahead and use a lure gag now. I'm gonna take a drink of water real quick. Guess our friend um, found that quite alluring. Lur is a status effect just like soap, so you can hover over it for info as well. Lur guarantees that our squirt, throw, and sound gags will hit. Huh. Let's take advantage of it by using throw gags. Okay, so now you got marked. Oof, the shirt was a splat fest. Notice how it was knocked back and it isn't blurred anymore? Both Thoreau and Squirt Gags deal bonus damage equal to the knockback value of the lured effect. Other sources of damage will still unlure the cog, but will not gain knockback damage, so be careful. In addition, drop gags cannot hit lured cogs. We know this. The next gag I'll have you use is trap. Go ahead and throw down a banana peel. This is cool. Um, I wish Toontown did this originally. Oh, pound key. I can't even see it. Oh, okay. He's hitting Lord Loud and Clear. Oh, okay, so he summons more dummies. Oh, jeez. This is where sound will come into play, right? Ouch, I wasn't expecting that. Pete's been messing with the script, I guess. When you start finding actual cogs, they will attack every turn after the tunes finish using their gags. Ugh. Anyways, you can see that the trap hasn't done anything yet. Cogs must be lured into traps for them to work. This many cogs isn't a good situation. I'm going to lure them all with my magnets so that they cannot attack. Could you give me a tune-up to help me shake off that hit I took earlier? It will also help me help my accuracy. They're correct. They're not showing prestige info, which I'm confused about. Oh, there's sparkles in there. Wait, his did you see his uh gloves? They are glowing. Is it what is going on? Oh, he dodges the attack. Falls got in them dazed and confused now. Traps deal a lot of damage and also apply the dazed effect. Similar to Soak, Daze makes the cogs less, less likely to dodge our attacks. Okay. Now then, I've had enough of these desk jockeys. Time for the last track, Sound. It hits all the cogs in the battle. Sound off, rookie. Wait! Sound is now after Zap? 
Huh. What made them change that? Okay, so it's now tune up. Wait, throw is before squirt now. So it's tune up, trap, lure, throw, squirt, zap, sound, and drop. No tie, no service. What is those horns around us? Are you okay, rookie? This desk jockey is a tough one. Use the sound gives you the encore effect, which makes your next gag stronger. If you use sound when you have encore, however, you'll become winded, which makes your sound gags weaker for a few turns. Oh. And that should be everything you need to know about fighting cops. I'll give you a tune-up to give your, uh, get you back to, okay. Choose a gag to finish this fight. It's Simmy. What do you want? I think she wants food, so I'll do the cupcake. Thank you. There we go. Marked. Oh, he just launched. Great job, rookie. I think you're ready to take on the cogs. You now have a very tough decision to make. Which two gag tracks will you start with? Once you decide, head back out to the classroom. People want to talk with you. I've got to get back to Toon HQ now. See ya, rookie. Okay, so this is where we pick it. Um, tune up. Okay, because she makes everyone laugh. Oh. Welcome back. I take it that training went well? Well, I have a few welcome gifts for you. They do require some explanation though. Oh, uh, here's the sticker book. This is your sticker book. It contains all sorts of handy tools to help you around Toontown. Go ahead and open it. This is the districts. Each district is a copy of Toontown. If you want to meet up with friends, make sure you are in the same district. Jesus, look how many tunes are on right now. Let's continue to the next page, shall we? This is the map page, where you can view the entirety of Toontown. Some parts of town are covered by clouds, but they will become visible once you visited them. Yeah, Sea Lake. Okay, looks like Board by is still under construction. It looks like the cogs did not get revamped in this update, like I thought. Oh well. The go home button will take you to your own Toon estate, while the minigames button will take you to the minigames area. The playground button will take you to the nearest playground. That's everything for the map page. Let's continue on to the next one. This is your Toon Task page. Here you can see everything you assigned to, to do around Toon Town. Oh look, you have one right now. Looks like Mayor Flippy wants to see you in Toon Hall after this. Let's hurry on to the next page then. This is the items and codes section. Here is where you can customize your Toon. Yes. Let's continue to the clothing tab of the page. This is your Toon's wardrobe. It's pretty empty right now since you just got here, but there are many ways to expand your fashion. You look fantastic right now regardless. Let's continue on to the next page. This is your cog gap. The board bot logo change? We don't have much information on the cogs right now, so you have to fill this as you encounter them. Yeah, board bots uh, changed their logo. Okay, let's uh, take a look here. Hmm. So we see the new managers. Yep, I see them. There are a lot of other useful pages in the sticker book, so make sure you check them out when you get the chance. Go ahead and close the sticker book now. Has everything I said made sense? Yes. Cat got your tongue? 
Oh, you must not know how to speak with speed chat yet. Oh, click the speed chat button on the far left to say something to me. Whoa. Pronouns. Uh, here, here's a fact about me. My pronouns are basically he, they. Yep. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, it's bugged. Interesting. All right. Hold on. Okay. So, um, apparently you cannot complete the tutorial right now. It's bugged. So we'll come back to this at another time. So meanwhile, I'm going to switch to my main tip. I'll be right back.